Hello friends and welcome back to Emily's Game. Today was the second day of CitizenCon and the unveiling of several new vehicles. I'm about to show you the new CSV-SM, the Argo Ground Transport Vehicle. Think of the mule, but different, right? So let's check these out. There are four liveries for these. So I got I got four of them so I could show you all the liveries and we're going to do some box testing to see what they can actually carry. Uh, the, the site says they can carry four SCU. This here is the granite livery. It's kind of neat looking. I do like it. This one is just primer paint. I can't tell if it's white or gray. I'm going to go with white, but I don't think that one looks bad at all either. Not for, you know, primer white. This one here is the only one that shows the CSVSM logo on the side. As you can see, these ones do not. This is the default color. So Argo orange, if you will. This one here is the Jolt paint. I do like it. It's kind of neat. I don't know. It's very construction-y. The orange and the yellow kind of feel like very cautionary. So let's do a quick walk around of the ships and see what we've got here. So you've got a open door button here. There's a life support option. You got avionics. You've got, I believe that's fuel port. Yep. We've got radar. I believe we can open the cargo bay, like so. Cool. Going down the side, I don't see any other options on the bed area. There is, however, computer bay door. I had that open earlier, sorry. Computer bay door opens up to reveal several components. So looks like relays and power plant. There's your relay. Going around front. This is your enter driver's seat button. And on the opposite side, we have the same set, uh, same configuration as the other side. Components, cooler, battery, shields. Yes, this is equipped with shield, believe it or not. And that's it along that side. Now, up front, we have an additional multi-tool storage area. I'm sure you could put a pistol in there. I did not try that, but you can put a multi-tool in there. All right, so once inside, you have, you have your buttons up top here. You have Engage Systems, Engine On, Enable Shield. As we said before, it does have shields. I don't know what size shields it has. The website says V. That can't be five. There's no way there's a size five shields. You've got an Exit Seat button, and you've got a Self Destruct button. And of course, you've got the new MFDs that are included with the 3.24.2 patch. You got your power management section, just like in any ship at this mo at this point. You got weapon config, and without weapons, we have no config. You got your shields, which they're off right now, so I could uh, try and play with removing the cooler and the and the shields and such, but I could not. They would not come out, so I don't know if those are future enablements that we'll see. I'm sure they will. They are, but just at this time, they do not. You got your self status, target status, and scanning status. Otherwise, you've got display MFD casts. If you guys are not familiar with this, you notice when I turned that off in the top left of my screen, I lost the vehicle status window. Now, that is the same as this here, your self status. So the MFD cast shows your self status. That is our only configurable option there. Otherwise, you got your communication screen and then back to your power management. 
So nothing too fancy, not too much that you can really do with setup wise. I want to I want to point out to the MFD casting this upper left view that I've got here. It only works when you're wearing a helmet. So if you don't see that in even in any ship, make sure you've got your helmet on. Also make sure your MFD casting is turned on. Most ships have MFD casting to left and right, which is nice because you can have your target status on one side and your self status on the other side. Nice, easy glancing at what's going on. Um, really, that's it. There's no other features inside that I've been able to find. Just, you know, very, very simple. Kind of nice. All right, I did preload these with boxes, some of these anyhow. This one has four one SCU containers in it. They fit just fine for SCU, just as just as we expected. This one, I put two, two SCU boxes. They fit just fine, no problem. This one, I put an Atlas in. And guess what, folks? You can drive around with the Atlas in the back of this. It's glitchy, but it ends up staying in the vehicle. Uh, we'll, we'll do a test drive of that shortly. We're going to test load the 4SU box. I had some trouble with it initially, but I believe it'll work. So we're going to try this now. Now, if you remember earlier, I did post a video on left and right clicking your trackers in 3242. See, there's no grid to snap. That's because I left clicked to pick that up. You cannot snap to grid with left click any longer. So make sure you're using right click to pick up items to snap to grid or to pull off of grid. And there you go. We have a lockable grid. All right, so it will carry the four SCU box. Beautiful, right? Now, will another four SCU stack on top of it? I doubt it because it is a four SCU vehicle. You could set it on top, but no snapping. No snapping. All right. I noticed it squatted a lot when I put that cargo in it. So we're going to pull that cargo out. And you're going to see how much fun it is to get a 4 SCU box out of the bed of this thing. It's a bit crazy. Might not even be worth putting a 4 SCU box in this puppy. Oh, yeah, that was nuts. Now, will it take a 4 SCU this way? Nope, not that way. Man, didn't think so. So we know the 8 SCU box has the same footprint as the 4 SCU. Will it fit? Doubtful. Again, it's a 4 SCU vehicle, but, you know, I've been surprised by this game more times than not. So, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, we just launched that crate at me. That's awesome. Try it again. Again, I don't think this is a good idea. All right, I dropped it in there. Oh, man. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if I could put it in there. Close the gate. Actually, yeah, let's try that. Okay, <laughs> the gate's closed. <laughs> Ooh, little instability there, huh? Let me see if I can get it in there a little better. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> oh, come on, baby, sit. All right. She's in. Ish. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is going to be so bad. <laughs> oh, oh it, it yeeted it out right away. Didn't even have a chance to start the engine. Should I try it again? Yes. Let's 
It's like it's like the bucking bronco. Like trying to ride a bull. Yeah. All right, enough of that. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right, let me get these out of the way. All right, so we know what fits and what doesn't fit at this point. Anything for SCU will fit. Look at the squat. <laughs> so now I've got a bunch of uh, 1 8 SCU boxes. We're going to start throwing these up into here. All right, so check that out. We can actually stack boxes. That's cool. So you couldn't stack these. Even if you had the right amount of SCU on them, they wouldn't stack. So that's cool to know. Let's, let's see. Oh, come on. All right, so that's the equivalent of two SCUs right there, I think, unless some glitched out. Now we're going to throw this guy, maybe. I'm going to see if this will also fit. And it will. Check it out, guys. All right, well, there you have it. You can stuff a bunch of 1 8 SCU boxes into here, as well as a 2 SCU in addition to those. So that's pretty cool. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't stack uh, another container in the bed like that, but it did. So also we're gonna drive these unloaded and then loaded. We're gonna see the differences in handling. This is max speed. Do, 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 do. Sharp turn. And we're going to do a slam on the brakes and try to reverse it. Fully reversed. Takes it a minute. And that's unloaded. This is a fully loaded SCV. We're going to max thrust and then try to stop it. We'll do the same in reverse. So full thrust forward. All right, we're going to try to stop now. Takes a minute. We'll thrust in reverse and full, full forward thrust now. Oh yeah. Kick a wheelie in this puppy. <laughs> All right, so it's it's a potato basically. Full turn. Definitely a little more hesitating on the turning when it's loaded. I'm not going to bother with the orange one because, well, it's got the same cargo, basically, as this one. So let's go take the Atlas for a spin. All right. As you can see, the Atlas stays in the truck, but it does move. Now, the weird thing is it'll float behind the truck. Full speed. Oh, it did fall out. Oh. In my earlier testing, it did not fall out. Right, let, me, let me put it back in. I do wish you could snap the Atlas to grids. We're going to go slower this time. But I assure you, it does. it can stay in there.
I drove it across the hangar and, and it did that the whole time, but I was able to move it and it moved with me. So, so in my mind, hauling these and then a hangar this size, the calling an Atlas would be better to go pick it up with the CSV than to uh, walk a thing back because it is so slow. This is slow, but I, I think it's faster. <laughs> Maybe over time, with time, that'll improve too. I don't know. But you can move it around. Again, I don't know if it's faster or not. We have to test that. I'll get someone to maybe race with me. From one end of the hangar to the other. That would be a good one. Okay, guys, there you have it. The new CSV SM from Argo. Okay, so the concierge version is a Warbond version. It does come with the granite paint. It is $40. It does come with lifetime insurance. You cannot buy that with store credit. The non-concierge version is the standard orange version. It is uh, also $40. It comes with lifetime insurance. You cannot use store credit for that. And then the CSV SM 10-year insured vehicle, non-Warbond, is $45. You can use store credit on that one. And of course, there are three additional paints for it that you can get right now, 20% off for $7.20 on the RSI store. You can buy the paints individually as well. Best deal is the pack. I don't know how well it's going to be used yet. However, I know base building's coming, and I, I feel like this might be more useful for that, possibly more just for in our hangers as well. It's not quite practical of a vehicle, I don't think, at this time, but I think the time is coming. But let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about it. Guys, I hope this is helpful. I hope this is useful. Please let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the vehicle as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this was helpful to you in any way. Come back and check out my uh, other videos and my next video as well. I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful evening and take care. Good night.